What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, I'm actually trying something new here. Let's see. I'm always about being up with the times, uh, trying different uh, things out. And uh, so right now, I'm actually streaming. Um, so I'm doing this video here, but I'm also streaming on Twitch. I don't know if y'all ever heard of Twitch, but it's for those of you that haven't, it's um, it's a uh, it's a gamers it's a gamers live stream uh, website or you know streaming app. So basically, um, uh, was it like during the during the first pandemic? There was a, a lot of people staying home, and so there was a lot of people who were actually, uh, you know, playing video games and all that stuff. Well, Twitch actually got a an influx of people coming in who weren't even there for video games. Uh, so now there's actually a whole new like section for people that are, you know. Uh, not just playing video games so uh, so I'm trying it out because there's like tons of tons of uh, you know people on that site so hey you know why not try something different uh, give a uh, trying to give uh oh <laughs> Woo, I'm doing that so uh, yeah anyways just decided to try something different uh, outside of the uh, you know the most common platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is going to go up on YouTube. So, oh, what do you know? We got a, we got a viewer here. If you are new to this chat, which you are, you're actually the first viewer on the Extravagant Fragrances platform on Twitch. So, uh, if you're new, um, you know, just tell, tell us what state, which state you're in, if you have any questions. Um... Uh, throw your questions in there. So we deal with fragrances, um, basically oil. Okay, so if you're not familiar with oil, uh, we deal with body oils. We deal with attar. Attar is like uh, it's usually it's usually referred to. It's usually a, a word used to refer to uh, fragrances from like overseas, the Middle East, and stuff like that. Um, um, you know, they have, tend to have a bit more natural ingredients, I would say. Um, from, you know, for any of the brothers that are there overseas, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so, uh, so basically these, these fragrances, they're not like spray colognes and stuff like that, or spray perfumes, you know, you don't just like spray it on. Uh, you basically, you know, you swipe it on, you put it on the wrist, right? Um, and a lot of times, um, there are fragrances that are actually a lot, a lot stronger um, than their, you know, their counterparts, right? So, um, um, basically, check it out when you get a chance. On uh, those, you know, who are viewing in, who are going to see this on Twitch. Go and check it out on uh, extravagantfragrances.com. Check out the YouTube channel, Extravagant Fragrances. You'll be able to see exactly uh, what extravagant fragrances fragrances are all about. Okay? So, let's talk about... There is something I wanted to talk about today, which is um, layering, right? Layering, uh, testing out new... You know, testing out and giving time to fragrances, right? And also, uh, top winter fragrances. So, um, one little pointer that I want to point out is uh, when you are layering, right? There, 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 have, there has been uh, distributors that I've gone through before that they actually uh, sell all these different things. And, like... You know, like for example, African black soap, shea butter, right? Salt deodorant, unscented salt deodorant. Like 
Why why do they sell these things when like it's primarily I've always wondered when it's primarily like it's supposed to be a fragrance company. So like why do they sell these things? And uh over the years I've learned that things like shea butter for example, right? It's highly useful if you're into the personal fragrance and if you're into the utter, if you're into the the oils, right? It's highly useful. And also the uh, unscented salt deodorant, for example, right? It's highly useful, right? And they all can be used in conjunction with, you know, the fragrance that you're putting on. And here I'll give you a few examples. Uh, and then we'll talk about some of the benefits of each, right? So, uh, so for example, like, let's talk about layering fragrances. So, one thing that some people do is they'll actually use like petroleum jelly or Vaseline, right? They'll put it on their skin and then they will put whatever fragrance they're wearing on, okay? On top of that, because what it does is it's, it, it, uh, it, acts, it, it acts as a type of fixative, I guess you can say. Basically, it slows the rate at which that fragrance wears off, okay? It slows the rate at which the fragrance wears off, right? Um, so, the same can be applied to shea butter, right? And actually, I would say unscented shea butter uh, would probably even be more beneficial because there's actually, like, nutrients. And there's actually a lot of, like, uh, health benefits to using shea butter on the skin, right? Um, so, what you can do is, is, for those of you that... You know, you go to these fragrance shops, you see they have shea butter there, and you like, you, you just think it's there to just to moisturize your skin. Well, it's actually used for a lot more than that um, in terms of applying it to fragrance use. Um, and that is uh, basically, you know, you can use it the same way someone would use a, uh, you know, petroleum or Vaseline, right? And so you, what you do is you put that on first, especially if you live on, in like the colder states or countries. Right, um, it's it's also good. It creates an insulation barrier between you and the cold weather. Right, uh, if it's windy out, right, um, and so you put that on, and then you put your fragrance on top of that, and it it's it basically it helps you hang on to that fragrance all day. Okay, um, there are a few things you can do. You could just put the you could just put the shea butter straight on. Some people, what they'll do is they'll actually take the fragrance oil, they'll mix it with the shea butter, um, right? And then put that on first. If it's their favorite fragrance, they'll put that on first. And then they'll put on their actual favorite fragrance on top of that. Um, so that's just um, one thing you could do with the shea butter. But it's got many benefits. People use it for eczema. People use it, you know, who are have sensitive skin, who can't, you know handle the chemicals in, in like, uh, you know, uh, mainstream lotions and stuff like that, uh, who are sensitive to alcohol that you might find in, like, a lot of your mainstream lotions. And, uh, you know, natural oils like shea butter, you know, oils like olive oil, grapeseed oil, all these kind of oils, um, these were the lotions <laughs> of the ancient, okay? These were the lotions of the of, 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 the, of the people of the past, uh, and so I'm a firm uh, believer in uh, natural skin moisturizers. I don't tend to get very dry skin, particularly my hands. Though I've always had issues with my hands uh, getting dry, especially in the winter time, or if I'm abusive uh, to my health, right? And I've eaten a lot of sugar. I tend to break out with eczema, right? And uh, I, I find that when I back off of the sugar, my eczema clears up. I don't need to have or use as much skin moisturizers. But shea butter has been one thing that I've definitely, um, you know, tend to break out in the winter time, right? So, uh, uh, what else was I gonna say? Okay, so um, the salt dealer. So. The reason why that's also good to use in conjunction with, let's say if you're using shea butter 
is the salt deodorant. It's unscented, so you can use it, and you don't want you don't want to have a scented deodorant on, right? Uh, you know, let's say like a lot of your commercial deodorants, you don't want to have those on if you're trying to project whatever fragrance you're wearing for that day. And the reason why is because you're gonna smell, you're gonna you're gonna completely distort the the smell of the fragrance that you have on. So um, that's the reason why, like for example, the crystal salt deodorant, when you put it on, um, it allows you to uh, basically, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, basically, allows you to guard your odor without uh, projecting off another deodorant fragrance, right? So, this is what I would do. When you're in the shower, and this is how you use the salt deodorant, for example. When you're in the shower, when you're about to get out, your armpits are still wet, you kind of like, you know, wipe that crystal deodorant under your armpits a few times, uh, around the whole area, you know, even I would go under, like, further out towards my elbow when I'm putting it on. And this stuff works great, actually. Uh, I don't even use like the old commercial deodorants I used to use in the past, right? Um, and it looks like I'm running out of time on uh, the camera, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna con we're gonna keep going anyways. Uh, hopefully, I can the stream I can send to YouTube. But uh, you know, you kind of just rub that on. Then you, you know, you put your shea butter, your fragrance, and um, that's what that's for. That's what the, that's what the uh, salt deodorant is for, is to, is to uh, use in conjunction with something like the shea butter, right? Unscented shea butter. Um, before you put your fragrance on. And so, uh, you know, the neat thing about the salt deodorant is it controls the rate at which the bacteria you know what happens what what happen, what odor or funk is is like when you start to get a little unfresh around your armpits you actually uh the bacteria is basically producing waste right and um and as a result it basically it creates an odor there well the salt uh kills the bad bacteria that is causing that that nasty odor under the armpits or around your body right um, so that's one of the benefits of the salt deodorant and it's also and this is just my personal opinion it also allows you to continue to sweat because you have you have people that you know they promote the antiperspirants you even have natural uh, deodorants out, out there that it's like a natural antiperspirant, right? Which like which, which has like shea butter, coconut oil. Like we've seen those, right? Baking soda. Personally, I don't like any kind of uh, antiperspirant. Why? Because I think that um, well, for me, it creates blemishes under my <laughs> under my armpits. Uh, if you ever seen somebody that constantly and regularly regularly uses antiperspirants. Uh, some people will get blemishes, right? So I get that. And two, um, I want my natural pheromones to be excreted. I don't want to like hold that in. Uh, so, you know, your sweat is there for a reason, right? Sweat is there. So like when you get hot, you sweat, sweat cools down and it cools you down. Okay. Um, so those are just some things about, uh, you know, shea butter and also the, uh, uh, the salt deodorant. So, um, let's talk about the uh, winter fragrances. So, uh, usually what I like to do is uh, I like to give certain fragrances time to um, kind of grow on my nose palette, basically. Uh, you know, I've I, uh, I've had some customers in the past that actually, I've sent them out samples and they were saying, you know, I have to give this fragrance some time uh, because 
you know, it's just, you know, it has to grow on me or something like that, something along those lines. And uh, I would agree with that. I, uh, I have some fragrances that they'll just sit for a while. It might even be like years before I actually come around to um, that fragrance growing on me, right? Uh, so like the other day, uh, I picked up the Black Oud, right, uh, which was an import. I picked up some Black Oud, and it, uh, the, the canister was closed up, but I had a vial of a Mokullet that I put together, and this Mokullet, it spilled out all over the inside of my, my, my coat pocket, and, um, and I thought it was the black oud, like, you know, permeating my whole car. And it actually wasn't. It was the mukullet that had leaked out. It opened up and it spread throughout my pocket in my, in my jacket. And um, now that I look back, like, when I, first, when I first smelled that fragrance, I didn't even know that it was uh, something. It, I didn't even know that that was what I made, that was something that I put together. Uh, so now I'm backtracking. I'm like, man, that smelled great. Like the way it permeated my car, like my the whole impression that it gave me the second go round uh, when I smelled it again. I didn't even identify that that's what I made the first time, right? So these are just some kind of examples. Sometimes you kind of have to, you know, when you do my color or if you're testing out a new fragrance, sometimes you just have to kind of forget it, like literally forget about that fragrance. And, and either you come back to it or it comes back to you in, in, let's say, a form of an accident where it spills out into your, you know, into your car or your house or wherever, right? And so that's kind of what happened. And so now I'm exploring, going back to that. I actually made more of that mukullet. Uh So I may have that on the website very shortly, actually. Uh, but just some, just some things about mukullet. I find that. Um, there was one Mokala that I put together, I would say, last year, and it was, it turned out to be really amazing. Um, I'll put the link in the description, actually, uh, but I won't give away all my secrets of that Mokala, but one of the secrets that I will just kind of spill the beans on here is using natural patchouli. Like, I'm talking, like, pure essential oil natural patchouli, and the reason why I say that is because natural patchouli is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, uh, what's that term I'm looking for? Kind of like chocolate, uh, aphrodisiac. That's what it is. Uh, patchouli is an aphrodisiac. Now, I would not say that about, let's say, a synthetic natural patchouli. I don't believe that's the case. Uh, so that's why with some of my, some of my, my mukullets, I actually put like the real 100% uh, pure essential oil patchouli in the fragrance. And when I say compliments through the roof, tons and tons and tons of compliments. Um, and that particular mukullet, the mukullet itri, uh, I think that's what it's called. I'll put the link down in, this, in the description. Um, that particular mukullet, uh, it's a very heavy musk. Right, and uh, a lot of women actually like that fragrance for themselves. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I find is a lot of the uh, winter fragrances tend to be the very heavy, musky ones, right? Uh, the Casabal Oud, I'm gonna put that on the winter list. The Oud Isfahan, I know that's always one of my go tos, that's gonna be on the winter list. Uh, Jenneth for dose that's going to be on the win it's always on the winter list anything kind of like green uh, a pine type smell Majmua goes on the winter list uh, let's see uh, you know the body oil Italian Cypress it's going on the winter list uh, the body oils polo black polo double black winter list among the women, I'm going to say White Diamonds. That's going on the winter list. 
Um, what else? Patty LaBelle, Winter List. For some reason, that Patty LaBelle reminds me. It's a great fragrance. It's loved by all, right? I've seen so many different women actually really gravitate to that fragrance from different backgrounds, different cultures, different ethnicities. But I swear, I, it reminds me of like like the church ladies in my grandma's church when she used to be a, when she was a, a pastor. I just don't know why, but it's a great fragrance. Um, so that goes on the winter list. What else? Uh, among the men, I will say all of your ouds, all ouds. Patchouli, okay. Egyptian musk goes on the winter list. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, uh, Twitch, I got that view there. If you have any ideas, <laughs> let me know. Um, uh, sandalwood, Arabian sandalwood. That's going on the winter list. Um, Let's see. All the citrus stuff, I'm going to save that for springtime and summertime. Because those are definitely, uh, you know, fresh, really fresh fragrances. Um, let's see. Um, what else? What else? What else? We said all the polos. The polo double black, polo, uh, regular polo, regular polo black. Um, I will say Versace Arrows body oil that goes on the winter list. Um, what else could we say among the women's? The uh, flower bomb body oil that goes on the winter list just because it's yes, it's floral, but it has a lot of hang time to it, you know. Uh, and it's very, very sweet. I'm, I'm going to throw that on the winter list. Uh, the Bon Bon Body Oil. Winter list. Uh, bottle of the Victoria's Secrets. Mm, no. Those aren't very heavy or musky. I'd save those for the, uh, uh, for the summertime or spring. Uh, let's see. What else? What else can we throw out there for the winter time? Among the men's. Um, now one interesting fragrance that I find is, uh, is actually, I would say winter or spring, is Azaro Wanted body oil, right? Azaro Wanted body oil. That would be like winter or spring, just because it's, yeah, it's got some citrus in there, but it's also, it's also got some musks as well. Um, so I'll throw that out there. Um. Another one that I would say, now some imported fragrances are actually, you know, stronger than some of the domestic body oils. So some of them actually would be good enough to wear for the winter time. And that, one of those I would say is going to be the, uh, the body oil Creed Aventus. I would say it would be good for winter time. Uh, so, anyways, I think that's it. I'm probably going to be back for some more top picks for the winter. But this video is kind of running a bit long. So, um, if you have any questions, comments, put it down in the comment section below. And uh, uh, let me know what your thoughts are um, in regards to fragrances for the winter. Uh, if you are a... If you go through extravagantfragrances.com, let me know which fragrances that you like that project well during the winter time. Uh, or even fragrances that you haven't gotten from the website. I'd be curious to know. So, uh, anyways, like, subscribe, share, and uh, I will be back soon, everybody. Take care and have a good one.